This video helps explain how to determine the number of minutes it takes to make a meal based upon certain given information. The problem you are faced with in this video is that you have 531 beds within your facility, but your manager wants your calculations based upon an 80% occupancy rate. You are required to determine how many minutes it takes to make each meal based upon the use of 32 FTEs currently in place. Always break out the givens that you need. 531 represents 100% occupancy. 80% occupancy is what the manager wants. You currently use 32 FTEs to get the job done. We will need to break this out into two separate steps. First, we will need to determine the number of patients based upon the 80% occupancy rate. And then from there, we will need to determine the daily and ultimately the weekly meal count. Then we can determine how much time 32 FTEs represent, and with both of these pieces of information, we can ultimately solve. So let's get started. First, what will an 80% occupancy rate be, and how many weekly meals does that mean? Multiply 531 times 0.8 to get a rounded 425 patients. Each patient receives 3 meals per day, so multiply by 3 and you need to make 1,275 meals per day. From there, determine the weekly count. So multiply again by 7 to get 8,925 total meals per week. We have our first needed value. Now we need to determine how much time, ultimately in minutes, 32 FTEs represents. 32 times 40 hours within a week equals 1,280 total hours worked times 60 minutes per hour equals 76,800 total minutes worked per week. Using this value, we can now determine how many minutes it takes to prepare each meal. Divide the number of minutes worked for the entire week by the number of meals you need to prepare for the entire week to get your answer. 76,800 divided by 8,925 and you end up with your team taking 8.6 minutes to make each meal. RDStudy.com video tutorials are produced and owned by Nutrition News Network LLC. Any copying, reuse, or redistribution in full or in part for any purpose without the written consent of Nutrition News Network LLC is prohibited. All rights reserved.